Hello, this video shows you how to use Ixia's IX Explorer to send traffic um, and measure statistics on a per flow basis in IX Explorer. The version I'm using is IXOS 6.0 703.ea and that's written over here too. I have two ports that are connected back to back. So what I want to do is I want to send and create a traffic stream um, from one Ixia port on the transmit side with 48 unique destinations. So, I'm going to use the increment here and say repeat count at 48 and the step is 1. So the source is the same on, um, on these ports, the destination is incremented. I can change my frame size. So and in protocols, usually you could have a VLAN, Ethernet, select your IPv4. Uh, for this um, demo, um, I will not be picking anything else. To look at per flow statistics um, on the receive side, I actually look at the, uh, the packet content and look at something like a packet group. To make this simpler, I'm going to just choose an automatic offset. Okay. Now if I look at this and say edit, this default option, option in signature value is used for timestamp, sequence checking, data integrity, but let's make sure we use default. But in the stream number as a packet group ID, I'm going to uncheck this variable here. Um, actually, before we uncheck it, let's say, for example, 4. Now I want to know where this 4 is located. So if I go to my packet view, in my frame data, the signature ends starts from 87 and ends at 18.05. And I set my group ID to 4. If I go to my packet view, I can look at the hex code and see that the you know 87.73 starts here and 18.05 ends at this point. So if I calculate starting, this is 0 through 15. This is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. At offset 24, I have a 32-bit field where 4 being the packet group ID has been set. Right now, that stream that we're sending has all the packets will have the same packet group ID. But what I want to send is, because I want to do a per flow stats on the receive side, I want to send a different packet group ID for each of those packets. So again, let's remember that this is 24 offset and it's a 32-bit field. So I'm going to go back to my frame data and I'm going to use a user-defined field 1. I'm going to enable this. As soon as I enable this gives me a warning that, you know, at by offset 12 I'm probably uh, overwriting some other field. So let's use 24 here. And I want to use a counter of 32 bits. And on this counter, I'm going to start with 1. Not continuously counting, but I want to only go up to 48. And the step is 1. Okay. So on my transmit side, every packet that goes out, the destination MAC address increments up to 48. And then also the packet group ID starts with 0, 1 and goes up to 48 for all of those packets. So this is my transmit side. On the receive side, which is going to be my port 2, um, again remember that these ports are just connected back to back in my setup, port 1 and port 2. On my receive side, if I go to my receive mode, I'm going to say select an automatic instrument instrumentation signature. What this does is, is if I use default, this goes in and says, look for the signature, which was the same in the transmit side, and packet group ID follows the signature. So it starts at starts the scan at 0, so it starts at the beginning of the payload, searches for the signature value once it finds it, then it looks for the packet group ID. Okay, so on the receive side, now I'll be, I want to focus on my, um, excuse me, on automatic, so it will use the white packet group IDs. Okay. Now I want to build my statistics view. I'm going to add 
both of these ports connected back to back and I can make sure that these are cleared make sure that when I send from you know this port port 1 it's being received on port 2 I'm going to stop this traffic for now and go back to my network window on this view the when you want to look at a per flow view it's called a packet group statistics view because on the receive side now I want to look at all the packets received on the um, based on the packet group ID that we selected so I'm going to create a new view and select the same two ports so you know port 1 is highlighted in red it says it's not in a packet group sequence checking mode which is fine because I'm only interested in my port 2 which is the receive side so I'm going to start my capture here first and go to my stop view and send traffic let's see as this is sending traffic so as you can tell the packet group ID that I set is from 1 through 48 and all of those are seen here as well as now you can look at the you know frame rate latency and um, also your timestamp information so this view is used for multiple things it can be used for um, measuring latency on a per flow basis it can be used for um, to see what the frame frames are 